Hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Well, probably af afternoon for me, but not for you. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do scripts. Uh, well, basic scripts. So, if you've done a script in the past, then you probably know this stuff already. I'm going to cover variables and calling the script. Simple stuff, but this is the first video. And if this video is well received, I'll make more, more advanced videos. So, if you like it, like it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our mission folder. If you don't know how to make this, you really shouldn't be watching scripting. So, go right click, click new, and text document. And then, when you're in the text document, you'll see something like this. You want to click file, save as, change the site, save as type to all files, and then name it script or whatever. Dot sqf. Dot sqf makes it readable for armor, and it makes it into a script. So simple. So let's get started into the nitty, nitty gritty. So to call this script, we're going to use a radio trigger. We can call it from the init, so it could start at the beginning of the mission, and I won't have to do anything. But for simplicity, we're just going to use a radio trigger for now. So, radio alpha, repeat to the on act, I'm going to put null equals closed square brackets, exec vm speech mark, followed by your script name dot sqf. So, it's exactly as it appears in your folder. Click OK. OK, so now to run this script, we just have to call a radio alpha in game. So let's make a variable. A variable is something that you can put multiple times in the script and only have to change it once. It's useful for if you want to do multiple actions without having to go through the script and change each word. You can just put a variable and you can assign text or a command to that variable. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is he on about? Well, I'll try and show you. There are two types of variables, there's local and there's global. We're going to use local variables, so we're going to use underscore, and we're going to name this variable, well, variable. You can name it anything, nearly anything, as long as armor doesn't use it as a command. So, variable equals, so what are we going to put into this variable? This unique variable variable well we go put text so speech mark and followed by a sentence or a name anything I am watching a video on scripting close speech marks and semicolon press enter start a new line so we have our variable Inside the variable we've put I am watching a video on scripting, just text. So now we want this text to appear in game when I call this script, so I'm gonna say player side chat format open bracket open square bracket speech mark percent one close speech mark yes don't worry, percent one won't show up. Percent one is a placeholder for whatever comes after the speak, uh, comma. So we're going to put the variable after the comma. So in percent one, it will say the variable, and our variable happens to equal some text. So I hope this is making sense. And then we're going to save it and go into our game and preview the mission. And we're going to call the alpha radio. And there you can see it, I am watching a video on scripting. So that's a simple variable. Now, if we use a sleep command, sleep followed by a number, number equals seconds, so 2.5, two and a half seconds. And then I want it to repeat this. But instead of variable, I'm going to use something called variable1. 
and let's get rid of the second one. So we're going to make another ver variable. So variable one. This will appear two seconds later. So very simple. Variable one corresponds to variable one and so forth. And let's say let me show you an advantage of using variables. We're gonna spam the chat. So instead of having to type out um I'm watching a video on scripting uh, seven times you only have to type it once and because this variable is called automatically you don't have to change it so let's see what happens when you do this there we go seven calls and then this will appear seconds later so this is a basic introduction to scripting and like I say, if you find this useful and you want to see more advanced scripting, then do like the video. Um, it means a lot and I will know people are interested in it. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.